Okay, now we need to get our new matrices set up so that we can start controlling the camera. So here I've defined some new matrices. I've got a view matrix and a projection matrix, and I've set up my vertex shader to use a projection matrix, view matrix, model matrix, and position. The book doesn't have this global rotate, but I'll go ahead and left it in there because I have it left over from my animal code, and it's convenient right now because I don't have any of my other cameras working. So our position point is multiplied times the model matrix, which is sets where the cube is going to be located. This is setting a global rotation. This is going to be set by the look at command eventually, and this is going to be set by the GL perspective command eventually. So now we have to go hook these variables up in our code, as we've always been doing. I'll skip over that since you know, you know where to stick it and how to do that. And if we go down to our render all shapes, we just need to pass this information now. So for now, I'm just going to declare some identity matrices and pass the identity matrix into these two variables. But at the start of render our shapes, we want to set up our camera. So we're going to set up our projection and our, our view matrices. And we still have our global rotation matrix in here, and the rest of it is all the same.